This is hands down the most delicious butternut squash soup you will ever eat. And unlike most that are laden with the unhealthy kind of fat, dairy, and oftentimes sugar, this one is junk free. YouTube, welcome to the Metabolic Living channel. My name is Bella. If I haven't met you yet, I am the lead nutritionist and recipe developer here at Metabolic Living. And today we are gonna be making my favorite butternut squash soup. As I mentioned, it's creamy, it's delicious, it tastes actually really rich, but it has none of the added junk and it's actually made with just healthy ingredients. The secret to this one is roasting the butternut squash. This really brings out the flavor, it caramelizes it and makes it just taste absolutely gorgeous. Sauteing it just won't have the same effect. So for this recipe, you are going to need ooh, one large butternut squash, as always, preferably organic if possible. We're gonna be needing a tablespoon of avocado oil or high heat cooking oil of choice, very, very important. We've also got one entire yellow onion, just diced up like so. And then on our seasoning plate today, we have four cloves of garlic, minced. I do like mine quite garlicky. Also, I think of soups as like health food dishes, like immune supporting dishes, and garlic has definitely got all of those properties that makes it fabulous for immune supporting dishes. So feel free to crank it up if you fancy it. Also, we've got one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, and one tablespoon of fresh curly parsley, like so. You're also gonna need some bone broth. Now, for my vegan and vegetarian friends, you can, of course, use, um, I like to call it magic mineral broth, but uh, basically just a homemade mineral broth with some kombu um, in there. It's gonna be really rich in those very important minerals, but any veggie broth is gonna do great. I'm gonna be using chicken bone broth. Got really great gut healing properties, and this is from pasture-raised organic chicken, so it's the good stuff. What well, you're gonna need, four cups of whatever broth or stock that you are choosing to use. And then this is entirely optional, so if you're vegan or vegetarian, please don't freak out and turn this off. But this is four rashers of bacon. I think in America you call them slices. I learned that the other day, you guys don't understand rashers, but four rashers dash slices of bacon. Just bake it up, bake the bacon um, until it's really nice and crispy. Let it cool and then chop it up like so. This is gonna be sprinkled on the top just for extra deliciousness, but of course you can just skip this off if you don't like it. Anyway, what you're gonna do, very, very simple, this recipe, start by preheating your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, really nice and toasty. And then here's my little hack. Rather than spend hours trying to hack away with this, even if you guys have a great knife, so much easier, just pop the entire thing into the oven for 30 minutes or until um, the shell is gonna be nice and tender and the inside is gonna be all cooked. So go ahead and bung this in the oven and we'll meet back here. Alrighty, the butternut squash is in the oven. So we are gonna get um, moving on with our other ingredients and the next steps of the recipe. So what you're gonna do is grab a large saucepan. You can use a Dutch oven here if you have one, um, but the saucepan works just great as well. Pop in one tablespoon of avocado oil. Just a little tip, if you guys are doing the bacon here, um, one option is to actually cook the bacon first and then use the bacon grease to actually cook the remaining vegetables and then you can just skip the avo oil altogether. But I'm putting in one tablespoon of avocado oil, throwing in my entire onion here, as well as my garlic, and then all my seasonings except for the parsley. That's more of a garnish. So pop in the garlic, our herbs, our salt, our pepper. And what we're gonna do, give that a little bit of a stir. And then over a medium high heat, we're just gonna let this saute until it's nice and fragrant. The onion is starting to brown and caramelize, probably about five to six minutes. So pop that on your stove. All right, butternut squash is out of the oven. It's really, really hot, but it is cooked through nicely. So here's the magic sauce. You know when you were like hacking away at the butternut squash for hours previously? Look how this literally just cuts like butter. It's the best, it's really hot though, that's the only thing. There we go, beautiful. So very, very simply now, all you need to do is scoop out the little inside bit with the seeds and the yuck stuff, and then grab your saucepan with your sauteed onion and pop all of that gorgeous flesh into the pan. Be careful not to burn yourself, guys, if you're doing it like me. So you just get all of that inside bit out. This smells so good, I just kind of want to tuck in, to be honest. 
it's cooked perfectly. It's cutting through like butter, so soft. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. Don't you just want to like put a dollop of ghee on there and just eat it? So good. Anyway, setting that off to the side for composting. And now I'm going to throw in my butternut squash. You may want to just kind of cut it into little chunks. It's just easier to work with, but of course you can just bung the whole thing in if you fancy. Not really a problem. Just make sure you don't get any of that skin in. Not that it's the end of the world, but... All right, YouTube, the butternut squash is in. Now you just need to add your broth, uh, whatever that may be. So four cups, here's two cups in here. And then I ran out of my homemade stuff, so I'm gonna be using this organic chicken stock for the remaining two cups. Bring it all in. Beautiful. All right, so the butternut squash is in. Now all you need to do is grab your trusty immersion blender and blend it up until it's really smooth and creamy. All right, so I actually went with my old Vitamix and zhuzhed it up instead because it's just so much faster. So that's another option. You can do either or, immersion blender or Vitamix. Anyway, this, oh, smells amazing. Looks really, really creamy. I'm so ready. So all you have to do now is serve it up. So pour it into two bowls, like so, yum. This is gonna be our lunch for a while. I can feel it. All right, then very simply, if you are using your bacon, just sprinkle that on the top. I definitely highly recommend because yum. And then very last steps. I mean, look at that, come on, that's delicious. Very last steps, just garnish it with a little parsley. And there we go, guys. I promise you this is really, really creamy. There's absolutely no need for the heavy cream, the added sugar, even things like maple syrup. It's just not necessary in this recipe at all. This is absolutely delicious. You and your family are going to love it. So if you do make this recipe, please be sure to let me know in the comments below and please give this video a little thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the awesome recipes that I share all the time. We've got a ton of other full recipes from desserts. We've got an apple crisp on here. Definitely go and check it out.